Hi everyone, this is Elliot from EO Nutrition. In today's video, it's just gonna be a short one. It will be a sneak peek at the new document which I've produced to, for addressing thiamine deficiency. So in this document, there are protocols for how to address thiamine deficiency for sensitive and non-sensitive individuals. We look at some of the cofactors that are necessary, how to identify cofactor deficiencies based on symptoms and testing. We also look at megadose protocols and protocols for lots of different conditions stemming from the gut, the cardiovascular system, and the neurological system. So I designed this document to give people as much information as they might need to start a protocol to address thiamine deficiency or start a protocol to megadose thiamine, taking into consideration all of the nu nutrients that are also required and how to dose that. Ideally, people will, will be confident in how to do this by themselves. So it's broken up into two sections and approximately it's made up of around 60 pages. In this document, uh, the first section is looking at how to address thiamine deficiency with supplements and how to dose for thiamine responsive conditions. It includes information for sensitive people, for non-sensitive people, how to megadose with different forms, how to dose with nutritional cofactors for different thiamine responsive conditions as well. The first section is an introduction to thiamine deficiency. So it's looking at the primary risk factors or causes. It's looking at the main systems which are also affected by thiamine deficiency. The next section looks at some different forms of thiamine, thiamine salts, benfotiamine and TTFD or sulbutiamine, and we look at the pros and cons of each nutrient or each form of this nutrient. Next, we look at the paradoxical reaction where some people get side effects or increased symptoms when they start taking thiamine. We look at why that occurs. We look at how to dose it, when to increase the dose and when to reduce the dose or when to maintain the dose. We have protocols for sensitive people, for non-sensitive individuals, how to megadose with different forms such as the salts or the thiamine derivatives. We look at different protocols for the gut, for gastrointestinal conditions, for neurological conditions, and also for cardiometabolic conditions, along with a couple of other things, such as chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, bladder dysfunction, and a couple of other things. The next section looks at how to identify nutritional imbalances through symptoms and through lab testing as well. So we look at all of the nutritional interactions that are known with thiamine, we look at some of the B vitamins, the electrolytes. We look at what symptoms those might cause and what are the nutritional interactions with thiamine. For instance, magnesium. We look at how magnesium influences thiamine. We look at the symptoms of a magnesium deficiency or insufficiency, how you might address that, and also how you can test for that if you want to. We do the same with the, some of the B vitamins. Riboflavin, for instance how to test for that, how to identify uh, an insufficiency. Blood work, so some common markers on a comprehensive blood count and comprehensive metabolic panel, which might indicate increased need for specific nutrients. We also look at homocysteine and some other markers, such as uric acid or plasma B6. Finally, we look at the urinary organic acids testing to get a better picture of nutritional status and what each marker might mean if it's high or low. The link to download this is, is in the description and it's also found on all of my social media platforms. For the amount of time and effort that has gone into this, I think the price is very reasonable. The idea is, is that for people who cannot consult with me, then they are going to have a lot of information to be able to do this themselves or to be able to guide them on what they need to do next. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time.